Hi there, it's Louise here of Timeless Craft Mama and today I'm sharing a scrapbook layout process video with you that I've created for the Turtle Soup Forum design team. So this is my layout memories and I've used the Kazercraft Sail Away collection. The challenge for you um, for this particular page is to incorporate some twine. So you'll see there I've taken a stash and I've got a whole lot of twine. So I'm going to use that in various different ways on this particular layout. Starting with the background paper, I'm just going to apply some gelato with the packaging technique. And this particular paper actually has that nice um, textured feel. It's almost like it's embossed a little bit. So you can add some colour to it, sponge it off a little bit, and it will leave that colour with the embossing showing through. Really cool technique. So I'm building a background now and the first thing I'm going to do is just take some stickers and pop those on the page. Next thing is to trim up my photo and get this ready to build a cluster behind it. So again, I'm just using some of the papers from the Kazercraft Sail Away collection and these are from the 6x6 six six paper pad. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some twine to this particular part of the cluster. So you'll see that with this layout I'm using twine all over it and in a couple of different places. Actually, um, when I was creating this layout, it's not something that I sort of had thought too much about. It just happened that I created it this way. And I am actually really impressed with what the twine added as far as texture and dimension is concerned. You know, it really did give that just a little bit of extra pop to those to those um, papers and the um, the layers of, of paper behind that photo. So it really was quite fun. Now when I create a cluster, I don't necessarily um, have a structured way to do it. I just do what looks good. Probably the one thing that I do um, when I'm popping layers together is I like things to be fairly symmetrical. So I... I'm the type of scrapper where I don't like uh, a random layout of papers and embellishments. They sort of have to be fairly even and, and balanced for me to actually find a page aesthetically pleasing. So you'll generally see when I do a cluster that things are fairly even as far as whatever I put on the left, I put on the right, whatever goes on the top goes on the bottom. And that's not a right or wrong thing, it's purely just from a personal preference. Now you'll also notice with this cluster that I didn't like it sideways, which is the way I started with. I actually turned it on its side, which again is the good thing about building a cluster. You can turn it upside down, back to front, and still have it fit onto a page really nicely. So again with the twine, so I've added some more to my cluster and then I'm going to also build some into the background of this page. It, it was quite easy to use, you know twine is not expensive, I think it was $2 or something from the discount store and that was for three rolls. So it was really nothing to have some twine and add it to a page. My cluster's done and I'm really happy with that so I'm going to go ahead and mount that photo onto the page. I'm not going to put any more work into the background. I'm happy with how that looks as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on and get ready to build around it and finish this page off. Now as I start to build the final layers, you'll see that, um, you know, I had a couple of items that I pulled from my stash, some of the collectibles that came with this particular kit, and some of the things I was trying to make work on this page, I'm just fiddling around, moving a few things here and there, putting them in, and this collection sort of lends itself more to beachy water type of um, theme, but you'll notice that there's none of that in my particular picture, the photo that I've used. But I really felt like it worked quite well for this particular layout. There was lots of elements in that, that blue and red part of the collection that um, can be used for anything really and you can see that I've picked out a couple of those items. So just little things about adventure and memories and being home and fun little elements that can be popped together on a page. So as I'm starting to work through this, um, getting closer to being happy with the final product of this layer, 
I've decided to pop a little cluster in that bottom right hand corner. So I'm just going to put my journaling on this little card again from the collectibles and I'm going to um, just raise that up slightly and again with the twine just pop a little bit more twine down into that bottom right hand corner to help bring this final part of the layout together. Gluing all that down, popping it on there. I'm really pleased with the, the final result of this layout. I think that the elements all work really well together. And despite it not really being what I had in mind, I think sometimes those are the best layouts, ones where we don't overthink them and we just put elements onto a page. So in the final steps I'm taking is to mount the title and to pop a couple of the little um, stickers from the sticker sheet in the same collection around on this page. So that's my Turtle Soup Design Team layout for scrapping your stash and the challenge is to use twine on your page. So you could use a coloured twine, you could use um, ordinary old cotton or you know um, embroidery thread, whatever you've got lying around. If it's in your stash, then feel free to be inspired to use it on a layout. I really hope you have enjoyed this video from me and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see further process videos from me. I'm Louise of Timeless Craft Mama. Thanks so much.